Ah, oh, the sun's right in my eyes, but you know what? It's a beautiful day, and I'm going to be talking about the Selkirk Pro S1 Pickleball. Um, this is the one that's uncrackable. It's uh, about 35 degrees out here right now, and I can tell you from experience, I have been unable to crack one of these balls. I smashed one of these balls against the pickleball court for about 10 minutes straight and couldn't crack it. I mean, just abused it. So let's talk about this ball, my impressions of it, besides the fact that I could crack it. And then uh, I'll give you my verdict on whether or not you want to buy this ball. All right, so the Selkirk Pro S1, it's backed by a one-year no-crack warranty. The deal is, though, if you buy it in a four-pack or if you buy it in a six-pack or an eight-pack, you have to crack all the balls before you get your money back because who's going to pay for like $4 shipping on a single ball, right? $6 shipping on a single ball. It has uh, large holes and small holes on it that's supposed to give it a more consistent bounce. I've heard people say that it's less consistent. They've reformulated the plastic. And one thing that I noticed with my balls is that they're slightly different colors. I don't know if it was a first batch or something like that, but I've noticed that sometimes the dyes are just a little off from one ball to the other. Now I've gotten two out of a six pack and I have played and played and played and played with them. No cracks, none whatsoever. It holds up in the cold weather, which here in upstate New York, when we're talking about Temperatures below 40 degrees, sometimes even below freezing, I've played with this ball. It hasn't cracked. I cannot say that for nearly any other ball except for the Yola. And we're going to talk about the Yola in another video. So what do I think about the ball? How does it play? Uh, I think it plays pretty fast uh, in this cold weather right now. It's getting really hard and it feels like a Dura or a Franklin. Um, it's a little softer as the temperatures get warmer, but that's kind of to be expected with a ball that's not going to crack. You have to give up some kind of firmness. Like right now, I've been out here for about 10 minutes. This ball is nice and firm and will play very nicely in this weather. But um, from what I've been told from other people, it can be soft in some spots where I've noticed that it's softer is where these smaller holes are in between the larger holes. The ball feels a little softer there. So if you hit, if the ball lands there, it's going to slow down just a little bit because the ball is going to give. But if it hits anywhere else on the surface, it's going to perform just like any other ball. I have noticed that the balls do kind of go out of round just a little bit, but not enough to affect play. So, should you get these balls? Here's what I'll tell you. Uh, I think if you're primarily an indoor player where you've got cushioned courts, not hard asphalt like this that I'm on right now. By the way, I am at Gavin Park. They just redid these courts over uh, the summer. Look at them. There's no nets up right now, but man, don't these things look great? Love it. Can't wait to play here in the summer or bring my net here this winter if it warms up. But anyway, uh, I think if you're playing on a cushioned surface, these are going to be great for you. If you're playing on a hard surface like this, the ball is going to go out around and it's going to affect your play just a little bit. But I don't think it's going to be enough to make you want to toss a ball and not play with it. All right, so that's the Selkirk Pro s1 pickleball check it out there'll be a link in the description where you can get these jokers i highly recommend them if you are playing in cold weather or if you play a lot of indoor pickleball on a cushion surface <sighs> sent it over the fence <sighs>